Welcome to the Mind Body Medicine series. Hi. Hello. Thank you for the invitation and being here today. Thank you so much also. Thanks for joining. And uh, I think this was in our mind for a very long time to have yeah. a series of uh, talks about um, mind, body, medicine and the whole uh, holistic concept of uh, especially when it comes to girls health and women's health so how the mind and body they play together absolutely and uh, I have been always impressed by your interest in this area and uh, we've had previous conversations and this is a great opportunity to share some of our perspectives with the wider audience and uh, I think this has turned out well today you know we managed to find some time in your busy schedule um, and probably we can structure this in a way that may be useful for your audience and my audience and our audience together. So That's what I feel like, you know, whenever we um, talk about, you know, spreading uh, health awareness or spreading just knowledge, most of the time we just get stuck as to where to start from. So I just thought, let's have a conversation about, you know, a girl, like how she starts menarche, then how she goes into adulthood and everything which is physical, emotional and mental which is attached to it. And then as she grows older and then, you know, older women post 35 and 40 menopause and later on so that at each age women need some kind of help or support sometimes whether it is physical or mental and so many times they don't know what's happening to their bodies and their minds so talking to each other like this kind of a talk informal talk probably would you know help so many women and girls around sure uh, just generally start talking about what mind body medicine means I just came off a conference in Rishikesh, uh, people were talking about the influence of uh, stress on cardiovascular morbidity and uh, sort of chronic disease management and the use of complementary and alternative medicine as they call it. It was attended by many cardiologists and spiritual leaders and my idea and again you know, at your invitation uh, we thought you know, this is very relevant for women and um, here we are. So maybe you can tell me a little bit about what you do because uh, I, know, I know you're a gynecologist uh, but, but what is happening in a gynecology clinic these days in a busy city like uh, Chennai? Yeah, like from when we graduated from Stanley way back in 1999, things have changed tremendously. There's been a lot of change and you know from the time now with social media and a lot of stress and uh, whether it is a teenager, a 10 year old or a 15 year old or a 50 year old, you know, we are always constantly multitasking, doing so many things. So the pressure and all of that stress plays havoc. So many of these, many of times we have a lot of stress related diseases and illnesses also. And I think now the time has come that we move from illness to wellness. So I think this is a good platform where we come, we invite not just girls, not just women, but the entire family and even the men who actually are always there with women. You know, it, it's not about men versus women, it's men with women, it's, it's everything together. How do we take this journey of a girl from her adolescence till her 20s later on and yeah. into menopause? Now, I, th I think you make a very interesting point there with the illness and wellness angle. Um, and going by my own experience, you know, as you rightly mentioned, when we were in medical school, uh, there were more infectious diseases than we have now. Uh, you know, we see more of lifestyle problems, so hence a slightly different approach to what we've been using is necessary. And I think the medical field now around the world uh, are very cognizant of this fact and you know, that's one of the reasons why we have those conferences and maybe our conversation. And like so many diseases like polycystic ovary, you know, yeah. it was unheard of like 20 years back. You would hardly, you know, see. But now I see in five or four women whom I see, one or two yeah. of them have this problem. Yeah. It's become so common nowadays, you know. See, I, I ask about behavior, emotions regularly. But how often do you get to ask about these things, the concept of mind in a, in a busy practice? In a busy practice, you know, it's just like, you know, we, we look at, us, maybe sometimes the fault is at our side also because we focus more on physical ailments and what are your symptoms, why you've come for, write on a few investigations, blood tests, scan and then come back. But many times, you know, like problems like, premenstrual syndrome, PMS, menopause, depression, uh, during pregnancy, after pregnancy, pregnancy blues, so many other things, teen troubles, you yeah, know, sometimes wow. there is no 
one size which fits all yeah. there's no you know prescription go take this medicine it's just it's a continuous care and i guess that's where we need input from yeah. uh, mind physicians like you yeah, you know like yeah. what is the mind where yeah, is okay. it absolutely. how do you absolutely. tackle that absolutely and it's unknown you know it's still very unknown quantity but what we feel every day is the influence of the mind on our lives you know and particularly in health settings in you know, work family relationships and i think you've given a long list of uh, the common conditions that you deal with which in we should talk practice. about yeah. I guess I think I think we can then probably throughout this series you have set the uh, sort of scene as it were to then pick up on some of these topics and we can do a series if you're okay with it I know we're, you're hard pressed for time but we'll we'll try and you know sort of uh, give our perspectives exactly. uh, from a mind body uh, because sometimes women don't even know they are suffering from that Absolutely. problem you Absolutely. know like now I have post 40, I'm able to understand sometimes, you know, if women just come, they have a totally unrelated ailment. Sometimes yeah. it is just a premenstrual syndrome where they have to recognize it or it's just menopause. You know, you're getting older, but your work is increasing and how you're balancing and should you balance and so many things, you know, where they just need a little bit more of time and they need to understand they have this thing. So, you know, this is just an attempt. At I'm it. so thankful Priyanka for this time and I'm very glad that you are able to shed some more light on some of the issues that your patients face and uh, we'll maybe share uh, our experiences going forward and maybe uh, so see how things get from here. So Thank true. you. Absolutely. So we'll pause here uh, and then go into the next uh, sort of series of videos so that the audience can then choose to watch you know, what they're interested in or they're welcome to uh, watch the whole series if you find uh, that would be useful. Exactly. Yeah? Thank you. Thank you.